Now at 5.30, family members of the man charged in connection with his girlfriend's death shouting out their support in court. The suspect himself openly sobbed as prosecutors read the details of the crime. Good evening, everybody. I'm Leah Martin. And I'm Paula Evan. Investigators say the man attacked his girlfriend after a fight. WBZ's Christina Hager is live in Dudley tonight. Christina? Well, Paula, at least one family member told me Joseph Kenedek and Brenda Hathaway had fought many times before. And on Sunday morning, prosecutors say their arguments spilled out onto the street in their hometown in Webster. And that's where police found Hathaway on the ground, beaten. I love you, Joe. Emotions in the courtroom hit boiling point and then some. <laughs> Joe Kennedick sobbed. So did the family of Brenda Hathaway, the longtime girlfriend he's accused of beating after a night of heroin use in their Webster home. According to court documents, a witness saw Kennedick with a hammer in his hand. The deceased was struck at least one time by the defendant. Uh, she later pe uh, she passed away as a result of injuries. At this point during his arraignment, Kennedy slammed his head down onto a railing. <laughs> According to the court papers, a witness saw him punch Hathaway not only once but then three more times and stomped on her head with his foot. What was it like to see him? <sighs> Terrible. It's heartbreaking for all of us. Have they ever fought like this before? All the time. Mom. It's not the first heartache this family has endured. Three years ago, Hathaway's daughter, Sabrina, suddenly disappeared. Still an unsolved mystery and something family members focused on as they left court. Brenda Hathaway was 43 years old. Kennedy is 51, and he is not facing a murder charge. At this point, he does face domestic assault charges, and he's being held on $200,000 bail. Back to you.